In this video, I'm gonna tell you about a digital marketing business model that allows you to make money without being a slave to doing all the grunt work yourself, without having to be a black belt level ninja in SEO, paid ads, social media management, or any other skill, and without having to deal with headache-inducing clients for 25 hours a day. Enter drop servicing. The drop servicing agency model is dead simple. And if you're familiar with the term drop shipping, you probably already know where this is going. In this model, you're essentially wholesaling high value recurring services to clients who will pay you thousands of dollars month in and month out. You don't gotta do the work, you don't gotta handle the onboarding, you don't gotta spend every waking hour babysitting clients or handling reporting and account management. Pretty much everything after the client comes on board is taken care of. I've personally used this exact model to make somewhere in the neighborhood of five to six million dollars over the past few years. And to prove it's not luck, I've put the entire model into a masterclass within our agency collective community and I've successfully helped hundreds of other digital marketers scale their business with it as well. But forget about all that, that's not what this video is about. I'm here to show you how it all works so you can do it too. So you might be asking, in regards to this fancy drop servicing model, if all the work and client communications is completely off your plate, what do you do? Well, since this model takes onboarding, fulfillment, and account management completely off your plate, really your only job as the owner is getting business owners to sign up with you. Now, later on in this video, I'll show you why that doesn't have to be too difficult either, so hang tight. So let me tap the brakes really quick and actually define drop servicing agency. This is a term that describes the exact model I used to scale an agency from ground zero to over 70K per month in 11 months, only to have that company acquired for a large payout a few months later. So in short, it's a digital marketing business model where the owner focuses 95% of his or her time on client acquisition and outsources everything else. Sexy, right? And most importantly, simple. You get good at one thing, having conversations with business owners who already know they need digital marketing services. And trust me, this is an easy sell. It's like selling water in the desert or selling Travis Kelsey jerseys at a Taylor Swift concert. You get the point. You're selling something people need to the people who already know they need it. So that's the sales component. And like I said, after you start closing deals left and right, like Jordan Belfort in The Wolf of Wall Street, you then simply divvy up all the actual work to the other people, such as subcontractors and fulfillment agencies. Oh, and about those contractors, you're only paying them from the money that the client is paying you. So there's literally no upfront costs or baked in overhead. Smart, right? So let's dive into the meaty part of this content. This is the part of the video where I'm gonna get into the boring shit that will make you a lot of money instead of continuing to talk about the hypey shit that will keep you broke. Because we all know, all the gurus out there like to talk about the hype while carefully hiding the reality that this stuff does take work. If you want more detailed trainings on the exact methods I'm about to breeze through in the next five minutes, just check out the other videos on my channel. Okay. Let's dive in. Number one, understanding the services that you're offering. If right now you just slammed your laptop shut, waltzed out of the house, walked up to the first business owner you could find and asked them to start paying you to do a service you know nothing about, that's probably not gonna end well. You have to understand at least the basics of the services you're rendering. Now, do you have to be a world-class pro at every service that you're offering? No. Matter of fact, if you spend several years becoming an SEO or paid advertising master, that definitely makes you qualified to go apply for a job at an agency, but not necessarily own one. Remember, your main focus as the owner is to bring in new clients and you will have contractors doing all the technical work. In the same way that the owner of an AC repair company probably isn't the guy out there in the field turning screwdrivers and fixing ACs. But again, you have to know enough about your services to speak intelligently about them to a customer and get a sale over the line. Number two, find a starving market. Just like I said earlier, we don't wanna overcomplicate this. We want to focus our time on selling a service people want to the exact people who want it. For example, local restaurants know they need social media. Home service companies know they need to get on page one of Google by the way of SEO or Google ads and so on. So if you can find a business owner that already knows they need your services, you've won half the battle. The other half is one with your offer and sales ability, which I'll talk about here in just a moment. Number three, solidify a go-to market method. Now that we have a service and an idea about who we want to offer the service to, we need a way to get in front of them. I'll give you three quick methods for this. First, what I call arms reach prospecting. This is basically making sure that everyone in your immediate network, like family and friends, know what you do. Post on social media, ask family members if they know any business owners, and so on. 
You'd be surprised how many clients are just one social media post away. Yeah, I see so many beginners neglecting this method. Second, outbound prospecting. This is your cold email, cold messaging, cold calling, all the cold stuff. Personally, I hate it. It's intrusive to the prospect and it usually results in a lower quality conversation, but it can work. I landed a client via cold email one time that went on to make our company $240,000 over the course of being our client. But it's not as leveraged as my favorite client acquisition channel, which is paid advertising. You see, if you're able to practice what you preach and run ads for your own business, just like you advise your clients to do, you're going to have inbound leads and opportunity coming in daily. And by the way, if you want to master the art of running ads and landing clients week in and week out, just sign up for the free trial in the description below and you can work directly with me and my team. Moving on. So after you have ample opportunity flowing in, there's number four, equip yourself with sales tools, tactics, and support. Now I'm not saying you need to go join some sales boot camp, whatever that is, or become one of those closer bros who eats, sleeps, and breathes sales and carries around an objection handling handbook in his Under Armour gym bag. But you do need to know how to properly qualify, interview, and sell to a business owner who's in desperate need of marketing help. Sales training is a massive topic, so I just recommend you check out some of the other sales training videos on my channel. In specific, there's an eight-step sales script that I give you for free that you can use next time you're talking to a business owner. And number five, interview some drop servicing companies and find a good fit. Here's the thing, it's a smart move to have a white label contracting company lined up before you hit the streets and start slinging digital marketing packages like your Jesse in season three of Breaking Bad. So do just that, interview at least two or three white label firms and make sure that they're gonna be able to handle all the onboarding, fulfillment, and even account management for your marketing clients. And yes, you heard me right. Some premium white label firms will not only do the work, but also the onboarding, client communications, reporting, account management, and a lot more. So there it is, the drop servicing model in a few quick steps. Understand the service that you're offering, find a starving market, choose a method to get in front of them consistently, develop even a beginner level sales acumen, have your drop servicing provider or white label company cocked and loaded for when you start landing clients. And last but not least, position yourself around other six and seven figure digital marketers so you can learn from them on a daily basis and have the accountability you need as you start to grow your company. And in order to do so, yes, this is the part where I shamelessly plug our digital marketer community agency collective client acquisition strategies, daily support calls to help you through each part of your journey, bi-weekly guest speakers who have made millions of dollars from their agencies, options for one-on-one -on -one mentoring with myself and my team, and so much more. I'll go ahead and close with an invitation. If you wanna join us for this month and maybe next month, I'm doing a 14-day free trial to Agency Collective. Sign up in the description below, and after you're in, I'll hit you up directly, and we can start tackling whatever is standing in between where you are now and where you want to be with a successful, profitable digital marketing business.